Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial. My name is Emmanuel. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to blend an image with a background properly. If you're an old subscriber, thank you for coming back. If you're new to this channel, kindly hit on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to get notified whenever we post a new video. Kindly give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend it to other people and kindly leave a comment in the comment section below. Without further ado, let's get started. Now the first thing we want to do is to create a background and for this um, tutorial we're going to be creating a single a, a very simple background so we'll head on to the plus icon here and then we'll go to shapes and we'll add a shape and we'll scale it all the way to fit onto our screen this way and then we we'll want to change the color from white to a blue to this shade of blue and we'll click on ok the next thing we want to do is to head on to the layers panel here and we'll lock this shape so that we'll have it in place and it doesn't move when we are creating our design. So we'll head on to the plus icon here and we'll add an image from the gallery. Now, remember when you're working with images, you want to remove the background of your image so that you have a very nice design. If you don't know how to remove background from images, I've made a tutorial where I showed step by step on how to remove background from an image. It is very simple. You can kindly check it out. I will leave a link in the description of this video. So we'll just head on to our gallery and we'll locate an image that I already have with the background removed. So I'll just locate the image and then we'll just scroll up, scroll up, and then I will locate it. And here is the image here with the background removed. So I have it here. I would like to flip it so that the face is looking to the left and I'll flip it and I'll just crop it a little bit so that it fits onto my screen nicely and I have it here. So I'll just bring it down and I'll scale it a little bit. So you can see the sharp edge below this image here and we don't want it. So to remove it, head onto the plus icon here and you add a shape and we have this shape and we'll scale it down like this. We'll place it here. So we'll give it a color and the color is going to be a gradient and the gradient is going to be from black to white. And then we'll edit the gradient by clicking on this plus arrow. So the black side of this gradient, we want it to be transparent, while this side, we want it to have a color. So we'll select the black side here, and then we'll select this edit option. And then we'll drag this all the way down to the transparent side to make it transparent, and we'll click on OK. And then we'll have the black removed, and we'll also click on OK. And we'll check from here. So you can see we have a nice feathered um, gradient here. So with that selected, we'll select the shape uh, option here and then we'll locate the color and then we we'll want to give it this blue color here so that the, the blend will be nice. If you're giving it any color that is far from your background, your design will look awkward. So we have it there and we'll click OK. So now that we have it, you can see that it's still showing. So all we need to do is to duplicate this and then place it and we'll duplicate it again. And we'll place it and we'll also make another copy again and we'll place it there nicely and we'll just scale it like this so you can see that our image have been blended properly to the background this is just another method of blending image with the background i've made a video where i showed step by step a different method on how to blend images with the background so I'll leave a link to that video in the description of this very video. So kindly give this video a thumbs up and drop a comment. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.